In this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the user interface for Final Cut Pro. The first thing to do here is to create a new project, and I do this by going to File, New Project. It immediately creates a blank project here, but I need to save it to give it a meaningful name by going to File, Save As, and I want to organize things nicely on my hard disk, so I need to create a folder for the project. I'll give that a sensible name, and then I can name the project to match that, and click Save. So now this project tab reflects the name of this new project. The interface is made up of four key panels, the browser, the viewer, the canvas, and the timeline. We also have some other tools and audio meters here. I'm going to start in the browser where all the video clips, sequences, and other files will be stored. I need to import some video clips into my project, and I'll do this by going to File, Import, Files and I'll browse to the files that I want to import, and select them, and then click Choose. The files are imported immediately into the browser here. The next thing that I need is some bins, or folders, to put my clips in. I do this by right-clicking and selecting New Bin. Then I can name this to something more suitable, for instance, Clips for my clips. Then I'll select and move my video clips into the new bin, and you can see that they're inside the bin now. This will really help to tidy up your browser as your project grows, so it's a good idea to always start with some bins. Next, I'm going to double-click one of my clips, and you'll notice that it opens up in the viewer. The viewer gives me some great control over playback of that clip, so I can play the whole thing through, or I can play and pause, I can also grab hold of this yellow icon here, called the playhead, and drag it left and right to quickly scrub through the clip. Next, I want to add my video to the timeline below. I can do this a number of different ways, but what I want to do is start with good practice, and use this insert button over here. When I click it, a prompt opens up, and I'll just click yes for now, and I trust Final Cut to be intelligent about this. The clip then appears in the start of the timeline down here. The timeline can be constructed of several audio and video tracks. The video tracks go above the line, and the audio ones go below. There's another playhead in the timeline, and I can drag this around to scrub through the entire timeline. The playhead marks exactly where you are in your video. This is reflected in the contents of the canvas on the upper right. In the canvas, I can again scrub through the video with my playhead, but I also get some nicer play controls, such as play and pause, etc. I'm going to add another video clip now. I'll use that insert button again, and it's worth noting that this inserts the video exactly wherever your playhead is. And now we have two clips in the timeline. Over on the right, we have our Tools panel. Many of these tools will be used in the process of a slick edit, but I'll be leaving them alone for now. I want to add a video transition between our two clips. I can do this in the browser by going to the Effects tab. I can find the Video Transitions folder, and I want a Dissolve. The Cross Dissolve is a very commonly used transition, so I'll click and drag that onto the edit point between my two clips in the timeline. You'll see that I can move it around, and its shadow shows me where it will be. I'll release it exactly central on the edit. Now we have the two clips and a transition. So let's just play through that. Hmm, that wasn't right. What's happened is that the new effect has not been rendered yet. We can see this from the red bar at the top of the timeline. If I click and move the playhead over it, you can see that the canvas says Unrendered. 
I'll solve this by clicking once on the transition and then going up to Sequence, Render Selection, Both. It then spends some time rendering the transition. And great, so let's play through that. And there's our simple edit in Final Cut Pro with a simple transition. Why don't you have a go? Thank <laughs> you.